Soldier, are you ready for today's mission? It's showtime. You trying to make that a catchphrase or something? Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. Today, we're taking a look at the Slaughter's Marauders Low Light action figure from G.I. Joe. Over his career, Low Light, the G.I. Joe Night Spotter, aka Sniper, got to be part of two sub-teams, Slaughter's Marauders and Dino Hunters, yet he probably should have been a founding member of Night Force. Low Light made a good addition to... There were two versions of Low Light using this body, and then they sculpted a second version that was used two more times in the G.I. Joe line, giving a total of four variations. Low Light was a good addition to Slaughter's Marauders. You need a certain amount of soldiers to have a sub-team, and with most of Slaughter's Marauders being taken up by very specific job duties that aren't necessarily combat-oriented, having a sniper with a submachine gun as an accessory is a pretty good addition to the unit's basic infantryman, Footloose. Low Light is decked out in this unit's standard color scheme with blue, brown, dark green, and light green. He looks pretty good. I think it would have been nice maybe if they hadn't used the blue on the hat and the goggles. It's a little too much alike, and I, I get because the original one had a black hat that it would have been weird to give him a, a, a black hat, but I, I think that would have looked nicer maybe. Uh, or maybe they could have just done the hat in brown or dark green or something like that. I do like the blue goggles. They kind of match nicely with Sergeant Slaughter's sunglasses, which is kind of cool. He's got the light blue pad on his shoulder there, which was red on the original figure. And he's got blue gloves. I'm not wild about the blue gloves, but they're all right. Uh, I would have kind of liked seeing maybe one of these pouches or straps being light blue, or maybe the device on his leg here. Uh, just as a, as a place to use the light blue that would be a little bit smaller and a little less... Um, I don't know, there's something goofy about the blue gloves to me. Uh, especially when Barbecue got black gloves. Now, with him having so much blue on his head and right here on his shoulder, I understand why they didn't paint his undershirt blue, but that's also a missed opportunity to sort of have a unified theme with a lot of these guys having the blue undershirts. Lola comes with a black backpack. This is a large backpack that easily throws him off balance. Uh, this came with the original figure, and this time it's molded in black. He comes with a black sniper rifle with a bipod. This is easily lost, so be careful with that if you have one of these. He also comes with a black submachine gun. I've heard some sort of urban legend about the Uzi somehow snapping into this thing. I, I don't I don't understand it. I don't know how it was supposed to work. I've never been able to, to figure that out, so uh, I don't give much credence to that. I do think it's really interesting that they put the little loops on this gun so you could put a string on it, considering how few guns ever came that way, but how many came with straps on them, like hard-molded straps. It was interesting that they came up with that idea later on. As mentioned before, Low Light is the second use of a 1986 mold, so he has that standard articulation with the ball joint at his head. He's got standard G.I. Joe shoulders, a Bend at the elbow there as well as the swivel because of the battle grip from the later era figures. He's got an O-ring in the middle to allow his waist and his hips to move around. And of course he's got bends at the knees. I think another place if they want to put just a small touch of blue on him could have possibly been the boots. Maybe there's some little detail could have been picked out on them similar to Footloose's boots. Listen up maggots, if you go to Jokon and you see Kevin, make sure to say hi and let him know you watch SEO Toy Review. Dismissed! Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous tour review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos.